This tutorial will show you how to downgrade macOS Tahoe to an earlier macOS like Sequoia, Sonoma, or older on your Apple Silicon computer. Please note that you cannot downgrade past what your computer originally came installed with from factory. This process will also erase all of your data, so please back up your Mac first. In this tutorial, I'll be downgrading a Mac Mini M1 running macOS Tahoe to macOS Sequoia, but instructions are the same if you're downgrading to another macOS. Before we begin, we will be creating a bootable installer, so you will need an empty flash drive with enough storage space for the macOS file. Typically, the files are around 15 gigs, depending on the macOS. We will be formatting this drive, so please back up any files on it. Let's get started. First, we're going to download the macOS installer we're downgrading to. You can search for the specific macOS in the App Store, or I'll have links to the different macOS installers in the description box. Press Get to download the installer. Now hit download. Once it's finished downloading, you should see this message. This is normal because you can't just simply install the OS to downgrade. So press quit. Now we're gonna plug in our flash drive and format the drive. Once connected, open apps and open disk utility. Select your flash drive on the left column and press erase. Name the drive boot, B-O-O-T with a lowercase b. This is important and you'll see why later. The format does not matter since it will be formatted again later. Press erase. Once it's done, we're gonna open terminal. You can use the search tool to search for terminal. Now we're gonna paste a line of code. I'll have the code in the description box. You'll need to copy and paste a specific line of code depending on which Mac OS you're installing. The code I'm using is specifically for Sequoia. You may also notice that the last four characters of the code is boot, the name of our drive. This is why it's important to name our drive boot. Press enter, enter your user password and press enter. Now type Y and press enter. It will now create a bootable installer for your macOS you are downgrading to. Once it is done, shut down your computer. We will now boot up our computer in recovery mode. Simply press and hold down the power button until you see this menu. We will first need to erase our drive, so go to Options. Go to Disk Utility. Select your Mac's internal drive. It should be called Macintosh HD. I have two different volumes. Just select either one and press Erase. The name is not important. Make sure the format is APFS. Now press Erase Volume Group if you have different volumes like me, or press Erase if you do not see this option. Press Erase Mac. Now press Erase Mac and Restart. You'll now need to activate your Mac by connecting to Wi-Fi. Press the Wi-Fi icon on the top right corner and connect to your Wi-Fi. After you connect, it may take a minute to activate your Mac. Press Exit to Recovery. Now you may see the option to reinstall the macOS version that you're downgrading to. You can press that option, or if you do not see this, go to the Apple logo on the top left corner and shut down your computer. We will now boot up the computer in recovery mode again by pressing and holding down the power button until you see the screen. You should see the button Install macOS for the macOS that you're downgrading to. Press Install macOS. Follow the prompts to install the macOS. Select the hard drive that we erased earlier and press Continue. Once it's done, your computer will restart a couple times and you should see the setup page. We have now successfully downgraded our Mac OS. The whole process took me a little under an hour, but most of that time was due to downloading the file and waiting for the system to install the OS. I hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching.